Now at 6, it all started with a WCNC investigation that revealed disturbing allegations involving children at Charlotte Dental offices. Now we've learned the dentist will pay millions of dollars in fines. Good evening. I'm Sonia Gant. And I'm Bobby Sisk. Federal investigators say the dentists were filling the mouths of young children with steel caps and billing taxpayers for work that was not medically necessary. WCNC reporter Mark Boone is live now with why one mother says the settlement announced today is not enough. And Bobby, the Fed say the dentists billed taxpayers at least $5 million for dental work on kids. That was often very painful for the young patients, but helped the bottom line for the business. Some parents tell WCNC they were asked to wait in the lobby as their children were strapped down to a device like this called a papoose board. And when the work was done, the mouths of some children were filled with as many as 16 steel caps. To be able to do that to children and not care, not have any remorse, there's something wrong there. Christy Dilbeck first complained about the Medicaid dental centers in 2003. Her son Brandon was just four years old. Dilbeck says a dentist filled Brandon's mouth with steel caps without her knowledge. That's a, a lot, a lot of work. And to imagine all of the children I had to go through what my son went through. It breaks my heart to even think of it. In the settlement announced Wednesday, Dennis Tish Balance and Michael DeRose do not admit to doing anything wrong. The Medicaid dental centers have a new name. An attorney tells WCNC the business is under new management, and Balance and DeRose no longer work as dentists in Charlotte. It makes me cry to think about what, they, what he went through at four years old. To be strapped to a bed, I mean, that could mess with him forever for the rest of his life. And the owners of the company formerly known as Medicaid Dental Center will repay at least $5 million for work the feds say was not medically necessary. They'll also be paying another $5 million in fines to the federal government. The families of five children who underwent all of that dental work have hired their own attorney who tells me they will not receive a dime from that $10 million settlement announced today. Reporting live, Mark Boone for the Carolinas News Connection.